I was out one night with my roommate. I remember trying to go home at the end of the night. I was outside trying to find my Uber. There's lots of cars in the road. And I was on the phone with my driver trying to find him. And I just got in the car that I thought was mine. I remember he asked me for the address. I thought he was just confirming it. But everything else seemed totally fine. And then I fell asleep. I woke up and we were parked somewhere and he was in the back seat with me and he was banging my head against the seat. My first instinct was to fight as hard as I could, but I realized the harder I was fighting, the more hurt I was getting. I knew there was no way I was gonna overpower him, so I completely flipped tactics and I realized that I need to make this guy feel as comfortable as possible because if he thinks for one second that I'm gonna go to the cops, then he's gonna kill me. He ordered me to take off my clothes and I was raped. Even though I was trying to stay really positive, I still knew that there was a chance that I might not make it. Because I automatically was thinking about my family, like picturing them getting the call that I didn't make it. And all the things that I wish I had done with my life. Like how much more I wanted to do. And, you know, never being able to see my children or have children. Yeah, it was really hard. While it was happening, I could tell that he was starting to panic. So I remember seeing on a Grey's Anatomy episode that if you start talking about your life to an attacker, it will force them to humanize you and they'll be less inclined to hurt you. So with that in mind, I just started rambling about my life and it just started this bizarre therapy session where his objective was for me to think that he was a good guy so that I wouldn't go to the cops. And my objective was for him to think that I just didn't care and I just wanted to go home, go to sleep so that he could let me go. And we pull up near the end of an alley and I just remember slowly getting dressed thinking, I can't believe this guy's gonna let me go. There's no way this guy's actually gonna let me go. And I just grabbed my stuff, got out, and then he just zoomed off. And that's when it just all hit me because I was keeping my cool for three hours straight. At first, I was totally in shock, and I didn't know it at the time, but I was just so happy to be alive. I didn't even realize the severity of what just happened to me. So I thought I was fine, and then something happens, and you're like, oh, I'm not fine. I was afraid to go outside. I wasn't really showering or eating for the first week. I had started work as a nanny part-time, and I felt the need to tell her what happened, and then she ended up firing me because she was afraid I'm too emotionally damaged to care for her children. So I really felt so lonely at that point in time. I felt like nobody understood me, and that's when, by the grace of God, I was connected with an amazing person named Angela Rose. We need to be the voice for every child, every person. She started her own nonprofit organization called PAVE. It stands for Promoting Awareness Victim Empowerment. She called me and it just completely changed everything. I mean, she was the only person at that point that I'd spoken with who'd been through the same thing. And she told me, Carla, you're a survivor. Those words just sunk in and I just, knew that it was exactly what I needed to hear in that moment, and she was just an angel. She literally was an angel. Like, she came in when I needed her the most and, you know, just reassured me that this is not my fault, that I'm a survivor, and that started a great relationship. 
I think people have a tendency to feel sorry for me, but really I want people to know it's given me newfound appreciation of life and I've just become way stronger because of it. It's made me appreciate the good in people much more than I did before. I've been able to help other people in a way that I never even imagined. And that's exactly what Angela did for me. I know there are so many girls out there that have gone through this and they feel so alone right now. And if they just had an organization like PAVE to lean on, it could change their lives, just like it changed my life.